Hello everyone, this is Doomguy. A question I frequently see in here is, can someone show me a heavy weapons build? I want every gun we have to fire on that man. Do it. I think you got him. Sir? It just works. As with most builds, each build will be set up according to your wants, needs, and preferences. Everyone has their own way of specializing into their own build, whether it's gear, perks, mutations, and various other buffs and debuffs. As I recommend to everyone, I highly recommend you build your character around the gear you enjoy the most. With all of this in mind, I'm going to show you how I build into heavy weapons, more specifically the Plasma Caster and Nombat's heavy weapons. I will leave timestamps in the description below and hopefully you will be able to use this guide as a reference point. First, we will cover my legendary perk cards. I typically run Strength, Endurance, Charisma, Intelligence, Agility, and Luck, all at max rank. The reason for these cards is because I like the utility each of these cards brings and they allow me to move my special points if I need to without much of any repercussion. Now we will go over my general special setup. This build will be mostly for full health builds. First, we will cover Strength. Under almost all circumstances, I run Heavy Gunner, Expert Heavy Gunner, Master Heavy Gunner, Lock and Load, and Traveling Pharmacy. The three Heavy Gunner perks will increase the damage of my heavy weapons. Lock and Load increases my reload speed of my heavy weapon, and Traveling Pharmacy will reduce the weight of my chem consumables. If I am running a ballistic weapon, I typically will swap out Lock and Load for Bandolier which will decrease the weight of my ballistic munitions at one point of lock and load for the small increase in reload speed. Next, we will cover Perception. The cards I prefer to use are Glow Sight and Concentrated Fire. Glow Sight will be extra damage against glowing enemies and scorched enemies. Concentrated Fire will allow me to target specific limbs on my target and increase my damage per shot when using bats. This specific setup is for the Plasma Caster. If I am running a non vat specific weapon such as the minigun, the light machine gun, the 50 caliber machine gun, and others, I typically will run Glow Sight and Refractor. Refractor will increase my energy resistance by a small amount. Under all and most cases I run Power Armor. This is due to a specific perk in Intelligence which we will cover here in a moment. For Endurance I run Fireproof and Life Giver. Life Giver gives me more health points and Fireproof reduces damage from enemies using explosive and fire type weapons. Under Charisma, I typically use a variety of utility perks. These are Lone Wanderer, Inspirational, Field Surgeon, Stringent Numbers, and Tenderizer, and depending if I'm in a group, Bodyguard. Lone Wanderer gives me a bit of damage mitigation while also giving me some extra action point regeneration. Inspirational will give me additional experience points while I'm on a team, Field Surgeon will increase the speed of my stim packs and rataways. Strange in Numbers increases the effectiveness of my mutations, and Tenderizer will make each of my shots increase my damage on my target up to its cap. If I'm on a team, I will swap out Lone Wanderer for Bodyguard, which will increase my damage and energy resistance points depending on my team's body count. Intelligence will be the perk slots that make the magic happen for me and my heavy weapons. Here I run Power User, Stabilized, First Aid, Batteries Included, and Gunsmith. Power User will decrease the cost of my Fusion Core usage. Stabilize will give my heavy weapons armor penetration and increased accuracy while in Power Armor. First Aid increases the effectiveness of my stim packs. Batteries Included reduces the weight of my Fusion Cores, and Gunsmith will decrease the durability costs on my heavy weapons. My intelligence perks do change a bit if I am running a non-bat specific or explosive weapon. 
more specifically the Goss minigun. Typically I will run Stabilize, Demolitions Expert, Batteries Included, and Gunsmith. Demolitions Expert will increase the explosive damage from my Goss weapons. Agility is very much a personal preference perk to run various cards. There are a good supply of cards you can use and a lot of them can be useful. However, for me personally, I typically run Action Boy, Through Hiker, Born Survivor, Gun Fu, and Adrenaline. Action Boy increases the refresh rate of my action points, Through Hiker reduces the weight of my food and drink consumables, Born Survivor will activate a stim pack at 30 second intervals if I am low on health, Gun Fu will switch my bat's target per kill, and Adrenaline will increase my damage per kill. If I am using a heavy weapon that's not that specific, I will swap out Gun Fu for Dodgy, which will use my action points as more of a shield. Luck will be the ultimate decider in how I decide I want to play my heavy weapons build. Under most circumstances, if I am running my Plasma Caster, I will run Bloody Mess, Better Criticals, Class Freak, Starch Jeans, Critical Savvy, and One Point of Four Leaf Clover. Bloody Mess will increase my damage at a flat rate, Better Criticals increases the damage of my crit shots while in bats. Class Freak reduces my negative mutations effects. Star's Genes prevents me from being mutated and prevents my mutations from being removed after using Rataway. And Four Leaf Clover will give me a small chance to refill my bats crit strike meter. If I am running a heavy weapon that is not usable in bats, I will run Bloody Mess, One Gun Army, Class Freak, Starch Genes, and Quick Hands. One Gun Army will increase my crippling effect on my enemy targets and Quick Hands will have a chance at random to automatically reload my heavy weapon. As previously stated, my heavy weapons will be centered around using power armor. The armor I prefer to use is mostly stylistic and I prefer to use the X01 prototype advanced power armor. The legendary prefixes I prefer to use are Overeaters and Action Point Refresh Regeneration. With all 5 set pieces of Overeaters and AP Refresh, I receive 30% less damage from attacks and have a great boost in action point regeneration. With all of this, I'm a walking tank against enemies. As for weapons, I typically run anti-armor, not just because of its utility in almost every situation, but also due to there are no prerequisites you have to meet to reach its full effect. If I am utilizing bats, I will be using the Plasma Caster. If non-bat specific weapons, under most cases I run the Goss Minigun or Standard Minigun. As for mutations, I typically run these specific mutations on most of all of my builds unless I need to switch to melee or decide to use a low health build setup. These are Bird Bones, Carnivore, Eagle Eyes, Egghead, Empath, Herd Mentality, Scaly Skin, and Speed Demon. I do hope this guide gives you an idea on how to build into a heavy weapon setup. I understand that I did not cover heavy weapons such as the Fat Man, Auto Grenade Launchers, and other primary explosive weapons. We may cover those in another video. If you found this guide helpful or useful, please leave a like, tell me your thoughts in the comments below, and consider subscribing. This is Doomguy, Rip and Tear.